March 29th. Write, love. My people will perish from a lack of knowledge. Not knowledge how they think, in their own prideful ways, but knowledge of me. Do they ask me to know their hearts? Or do they try to hide things from me and lie to me? Worship me in truth. If your sinful ways make you feel ashamed in front of me, do not hide. Do not attempt to cover yourself up with fig leaves. Be contrite before me. Search me out. Let me wash you clean. I will cast your sins far from me, as far as the east is from the west. And brethren, do not be a stumbling block to one another. Put your neighbor before yourself. Love them like I would want you to love them. Control your tongue, your tongue that spits fire, your tongue that changes course at the drop of a hat, your tongue that praises me yet complains all day about everything. Have I not taught you contentment? Did you forget how to use it? Romans eight nineteen through 21 The created world itself can hardly wait for what's coming next. Everything in creation is being held back. God reigns it in until all creation is ready to be released into the glorious times ahead. Meanwhile, the joyful anticipation deepens. The valley of death will see water. Great waters are coming, coming with gloomy clouds, darkness and death. Are my warnings not enough for you? Is that another complaint? Take it up with me yourself. Talk to me. I am here. I am available. I am listening. I know you hurt. Your hurt hurts me. I feel it. You are loved. Tennessee, oh Tennessee, you cannot hide from me. There will be time and then no time. Once the clock flips over, the end starts. A green light beams in the skies, mourning in the streets. Revelation 12, 13. And when the dragon saw that he was thrown down to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. Come, my people, come to me. Return to me. Come up to me.